Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about user-defined functions. In our previous class, we learn about functions. So, what is a function? A function is a set of instructions to accomplish a task. Okay, there are two types of functions. One is so predefined functions and user-defined functions. So, for example, so printf. So, printf is also a function. It is predefined function. It is so defined by the so creator of C program. Okay. The next category is user defined functions. That means the user can define the functions. User defined functions are nothing but so defined by the user. Okay. In this class, we are going to learn about how to define the user defined functions in C programming. Okay. So user defined functions consists of three parts. The user use the function name three times. Okay. So one is for declaration, another one is for function call and another is for definition. That means if I define a function add, add. Now I use this function name, add is a function name used three times. One is for declaration of this add function. Another one is to call this add function. Another is for define this add function. Okay, so first we are going to see how to declare a function. How to declare a function. Now, the syntax for declaration of function is return type, function name, arguments. In this, the function name is compulsory. Remaining two are optional. The return type and the arguments are the optional. The function name is compulsory. So, for example, I want to define a function add. So before definition, you are going to declare the function in C. So you are going to define a function like this add. That's it. So now, and the function contains the return type and the arguments also. So you can use, you can specify that the return type is integer and the arguments are int comma int. So what it means? Here, the function name is add. It takes or receive two arguments two arguments are integer so after completion of this function returns a number that is integer okay int add int comma int add is a function name int is the return type and this int comma int are the arguments received by this add function okay so this is about declaration so before the main function you are going to declare the function so next one definition so how to write the definition for a function. The syntax is you are going to write the header. So function header. So function header is consists of return type, function name and the arguments. After that open bracket in this you are going to define the local declarations and the statements and close the bracket. Okay. So this is the function definition. The function definition consists of function name and the arguments and return type. And so here you are going to define the local declarations and the statements okay so this is the example for example here a function add with return type integer and the arguments are int so i define the function like this add it takes two arguments so int a int b and it returns an integer so int is the return type and i enter into this block here i write so return a plus b return a plus b when you write any return type here after end of the function, you are going to return a value. Here, I define this as an integer. So, I return an integer value. Return a plus b. So, return is a statement which is used to return the values. I hope you have observed that in many programs, we write int main. Int main. At the end of the program, we write return 0. So, this is about function definition. So, whenever you want to define a function, first you are going to declare the function. So, after that, you are going to define the function. Okay, so now function call. So function call is nothing but the user defined a function from main function. He want to invoke the function with the help of this function call. So call the function with function name. Here the function name is add. So how we can call this add function with the function name? The function name is add. So I call add. So 10 comma 20 means the 10 is stored in A, the 20 is stored in B. That's it. Okay, so this is about how to define a user defined functions. 
Now, if you observe that in this we have two parts. One is return type, another one is arguments. So, function name is compulsory. The arguments and return type are the optional. From these two options, we get four combinations. So, we have so four types of functions. First one is so void functions without parameters. That means no return type, no arguments. So void functions with without parameters. What it means? There is no return type. There is no parameters. Second one, void functions with parameters. That means for this function, there is a parameters, but no return type. That means no return type and only parameters. Third one, non-void functions without parameters. So non-void means that function return a value. So return a value without parameters. And fourth one, non-void functions with parameters. That means this function returns a value and it receives the parameters also. That means this function have so both return type and arguments. Okay. So now we see one example here. So this is the first one, void functions and without parameters. So there is no return type and there is no arguments. So before main function only, you are going to declare the function here. We don't define, just you declare the function here. What is the function here? Add. So after declaration, you are going to define this function add. So what is the return type? Void. What is the function name? Add. No arguments. And in this, you are going to write the instructions. Int a comma b. Printf, enter any two numbers, scan of percentage d, percentage d, ampersand a, ampersand b. So by using this instruction, you read the values from keyboard and printf, percentage d, a plus b. The purpose of the function is, the purpose of add function is, add two numbers. For example, I enter 10, 20, it print 30. Now, I print the summation in add function. So why here there is no return type and no arguments. So no arguments. So I read the values in this add function only. Okay. So this is the first type. So void function, no arguments. Second one. So void functions with parameters. So for example, here I define the int comma int, int comma int. So in the definition also you can write int comma int a comma int b. Now this function receives the arguments and it does not return any value. So, in function, in main function only, you are going to write, so these instructions, so int a comma b, printf, enter any two numbers, and scanf, scanf, percentage d, percentage d, ampersand a comma ampersand b and I call this function with the help of function name. What is the function name here? Add. Add and the arguments are a comma b. a comma b. So these a comma b are local to main program, main function only. This a comma b are local to this main program only. So these a comma b are local to add only. Okay. If you feel any confusion, then you take another variable. In text comma y. Now, here we don't try these instructions. Directly, we are going to print f percentage d x plus y. x plus y. So now, whenever the function call add 10 comma 20, if I give the input as 10 and 20 here. Now, so this function called and it prints percentage d 10 plus 20, 30. Now, if you observe that the arguments are sent from main function, and received by the add function. This we are called as a so with parameters. Defining a function with parameters and without return time. So for example, non-void functions without parameters. Non-void function, that means this function return a value. Here, just we call this add function. So no parameters. And here I'm taking int p equals to int p. Now, so whatever the value written by this add function are stored in this p. Okay. So here I write two variables in a comma b. This function does not have any arguments. I read the values from the keyboard 10, 20 and these 10, 20 are written here. I don't print here. 
here I write return so return C so A plus B for example A value 10 B value 20 the 30 is returned to P so this function return a value that is assigned to P int P equals to add okay now fourth one non void functions with parameters now if I pass 10 comma 20 here int P equals to add 10 comma 20 now here I am writing int x comma y and so directly return x plus y you don't write these instructions return x plus y now the values are received from main function and here I return x plus y so the value is assigned to p I hope you all are understand these four types so void functions without parameters that means no return type no parameters so void functions with parameters no return type only parameters non void functions without parameters that means it returns a value but without arguments non void functions with parameters that means this function contains both arguments and return type we see exact outputs when we execute these programs okay i hope you all are understand how to define user defined functions in c programming so now we see how to define user defined functions here so this is the function name add and no arguments and no return value and another function same function name add it receives the arguments so this function have arguments but it does not return any value and third one add function with no arguments but with return type another program so with arguments and with return type okay so coming to first one no arguments no return type so from main function we just call the function add in this function i write the code to add two numbers okay coming to second one i send the values from main function like by calling this function add a comma b now the values are sent from main function to add function so third one so no arguments but here this function return a value to main function similarly last one the function add receives the arguments and return the value to main function okay now we execute these programs gcc program 61.c dot slash a dot out enter any two numbers 10 20 it returns 30 okay so this is so void functions without parameters you see next program gcc program 62.c so this is the program void functions with parameters dot slash a dot out enter any two numbers 10 20 so 30 okay so next non void functions without parameters gcc program 63 dot c dot slash a dot out 10 20 enter any two numbers 10 20 30 so next one non void functions with parameters so gcc program 64 dot c dot slash a dot out enter any two numbers 10 20 the result is 30 okay all the programs results are the same but how we pass the argument to the functions are different 